Hi, I'm Dave and welcome to day 15 of RPG A Day 2021, the global initiative to try and get people talking in a positive way about tabletop RPGs. So today's is a Sunday and you know what happens on Sundays? Only one prompt, just to shake things up a little bit. And today's prompt is supplement. So instead of having to tackle four different prompts, I've got a little bit of time to talk about the one topic. I think this is going to be an excuse for me to talk about my favorite supplements of all time. Or at least the ones that I used the most. So that probably goes right back to the early days of gaming. And I've already mentioned Unearthed Arcana, of course, for AD&D. That got an awful lot of use because of adding extra character classes. Um, but the supplements I think that you, I ended up using most, possibly the Judge's Survival Pack for Indiana Jones, that got an awful lot of use, mostly because of the awesome random ruins creation. It had this had these great tables for creating random underground temples and traps and ruins and things like that. And you also had uh, cool random tables for what the artifact was that you went hunting for in the, in true Indiana Jones fashion. That was great. That was really cool. And only a little supplement as well. I think it was only like about 36 pages or something. And um, yeah, that was brilliant. And of course, it had character creation rules in because they weren't in the core book. Not everybody can play short round. A shame. Short round was awesome. Okay. Um, what other supplements were really good? Zebulon's Guide. Now, Zebulon's Guide came out for Star Frontiers and almost completely revamped the Star Frontier system. And when that came out, it was a complete revelation. It was like it turned basically D&D &D in space with some separate spaceship rules into this epic sci-fi opera thing with powered armor and craziness. It was uh, I, that became almost more essential than the actual rule books. Uh, I'm trying to think of other good supplements. Um, the Q manual for James Bond. I mean, that was that's pretty much the most essential supplement you could ever need for the James Bond RPG. I wonder if there ever will be another James Bond RPG. Now that Modiphius have got the license to do the board games, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. There really needs to be a new Bond. Now there was there were a couple of really really cool graphic designed ones for cult yeah I, I was a big fan of cult when it first came out and that really was cemented when second edition came out i think it was technically second edition which was the cool one with the black and white cover which i will find a picture of and pop it up here i've got it on the shelf over here but i'm not going to dig it out because everything will fall over um but yeah that that edition was marvelous mostly because it had some fantastic graphic design in it and it was just fantastic presentation. I really love the way it was done. There is an urban legend that that edition was actually laid out in Microsoft Word. I'd love to know if that was true because it's a remarkable feat if it was. But there were a couple of supplements that came out for it that were really, really essential. Um, Cult had uh, some levels of magic use in them and they brought out two supplements one was called um, beyond the boundaries which is a weird wacky gold color uh, which was a conjurer's guide to death and time and space magic and then there was a heart mind and soul book which was a nice silver one which was the guide to passion madness and dreams all these kind of things you know how cool is that but as with as with most cult books of the second edition the the layout was completely off the wall um, brilliantly designed I mean it's not many games that print black text on gold anymore um, 
and yeah the, the the design was fantastic these became almost the essential um guidebooks for when we were playing because there was so much uh cool spell casting and bizarre rituals and magic going on in our cult games okay uh so that is the end of rpg a day day 15 and that is almost the halfway point if you made it this far well done i'm surprised i have okay until tomorrow don't forget to share your responses to the topic of the supplement online and use the hashtag rpg a day 2021 and spread it everywhere like you know like margarine i will see you all tomorrow stay multi-classy